Well, decision making could be a very hard process, especially when it comes to buying your next car. When you're buying a Tesla, there's a lot of things that you need to consider before you actually make the decision to buy a new Tesla. Welcome back to our channel. And in this video, let's talk about some of the considerations for making a decision on buying a Tesla. Should you wait for the new version or should you just go ahead and buy the current version that's available right now? Tesla has dropped the prices for the current Model 3 and Model Y across the range. But does this mean that Tesla is about to release a new model soon? The confusion is real. Tesla does have a reputation of pushing the boundaries when it comes to electric vehicles. And we expect Tesla to deliver similar things in the new version of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. With huge announcements of discounts all over the world in the inventory of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, it's not a simple decision anymore. Especially when we all are aware that there's going to be a new version of these cars coming soon. First up, let's talk about the benefits of waiting for the new model update for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. A new model often means you'll have access to the cutting edge technology in battery improvement, hardware processing power of the computer, autonomous driving, the battery pack and much more. In short, you'll have the best technology the Tesla has to offer with the new version. Well, you'll surely get enhanced features when it comes to the infotainment system as well as interior features. And the one that I'm most excited about is the access to the 360 degree camera in the new versions. Although it's just a speculation at this stage, but I'll be uh, glad to see that coming finally to Tesla because currently it's not that hard to park a Tesla bike when you're reversing it in, but when you're moving forward, especially when they remove the parking sensors, it could be quite dodgy trying to park it. As with any other new thing, if you're buying a new version of it, you're sort of future-proofing your purchase. The resale value of the current version might not hold as good as the new release would because it's going to be uh, obsolete and you always tend to lose some value when it comes to that. Now let's explore the benefits of going for the current Model 3 or Model Y. Purchasing now means you'll immediately enjoy the value and benefits of already highly regarded Model 3 or Model Y. The next one is time frame and availability. No waiting list or potential delays are a good factor to consider buying a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y right now because even if you buy a custom version of it, the current delivery date is less than two months away. Then comes the price saving on the current versions of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y as Tesla is giving discounts and Tesla Model Y is actually cheaper than when it was introduced. So it's never been cheaper to actually buy a Tesla Model Y. And especially uh, currently government is giving out rebates and there's no added lease possibilities if you are a employee and you can explore that as well. But overall, I think it's a perfect time to buy a Tesla if you're really keen on getting one as soon as you can. Now let's look at some drawbacks when it comes to buying a new version of Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Well, the first one is unknown release date. Although the speculations are there and it's gonna be uh, anytime soon, but there's no firm date from Tesla or the sources yet on when it's gonna be released. Other thing is when it's gonna be available in Australia, because as I was saying, I was meant to uh, buy a Model Y, but it was not released in Australia, although it was available in many other countries. So same thing could happen for the new version of Model 3 or Model Y. The other thing that needs to be considered is the price, because the new version might have a higher price compared to what the current version is uh, on. And obviously with the new release of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla would have an opportunity to uh, make it a higher price weaker, because that ensures that the Tesla enthusiasts and other car buyers would be more interested to paying whatever price Tesla actually wants to put on their new vehicles. It's also very famous for having great panel gaps when it comes to the new models and especially when it's going to be a new release the first iteration is never perfect and there's always some sort of quality issues that the first adopters have to go through that happened in Model 3 as well as Model Y. But if you go with the current versions of Model 3 and Model Y, they've been refined quite well. In my version of Model 3, I don't see any panel gaps at all. And overall, the quality has been great. I've never had any issue as far as the hardware is concerned. Only had to replace the filters and that's about it. 
Buying the current version of Tesla Model 3 or Model Y will have its own drawbacks. Like for example, you'll miss out on the new technology that's coming uh, in the new versions along with you might get some depreciation on the current version if you buy one. But if you're planning to keep a car for longer and if you don't care about the new features, then it might be perfect time for you to actually buy one because they are heavily discounted and it's a great car. Like there are things that you need in life and there are things that you want. So if you do have that sense of you know, filtering out the needs from the want, then you would be perfect um, for it. Let me try to explain the need versus want philosophy. For example, if you think about the new phones or new laptops that's been released every year, there might not be features that you really need in your life, but there are certainly things that you want. The latest version of iPhone, latest version of MacBooks, they are certainly charming enough for us to make the decision of getting the new and the latest thing always. But when it comes to car, since the money involved in buying a car is way more than compared to buying a laptop or a phone, we do need to consider those things way more. But if your decision on buying a Tesla right now doesn't hinge much on the financial side of things, then it might be possible that you get the current version enjoyed for a year and then you can sell it off and buy the new version. By that time, you would know that the features that it's going to have are something which you really need or something which you can live without because the current version is not bad at all. And it gives ultimately the decision of buying the new version or the current discounted version depends on a lot of scenarios and personal preference as well as your budget. Some buyers may prioritize the latest technology while others prioritize the discount and immediate ownership of the car. Remember, both options have their merits. So make a choice that aligns with your priorities and budget. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more EV content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.